we start with a completely empty system have it professionally evacuated if you have any refrigerant left in your system and you're going to need a vacuum pump and one of these AC gauge sets and these valves are closed so nothing can flow right now and what I'm going to do is turn on the vacuum and then we will open the valves and you'll see that those will go to negatives and we'll let that run for a couple minutes build up some vacuum in the system That's what you want to see, that it's building pressure. You could just have a leak from one of these fittings. You want to make sure you've got them real finger tight. You don't need to use a wrench on them, but they need to be snug. So hopefully now I can shut this down. and see if that holds vacuum. Several minutes it shows that we're still holding vacuum. So I'm going to go ahead, turn the pump back on, open up these valves and let it run for a good 30 to 45 minutes solid to vacuum out any moisture or impurities in the system. It's been a good 45 minutes at least. So I'm going to go ahead and shut these. Vacuum. And our vacuum is done. So we'll put it up. So our tag says we need 27 ounces. These are 12 ounce cans. We need two cans plus three ounces. The way you figure that is weigh your can, you weigh the can on a scale, and then you'll hook this up and basically watch the scale drop three ounces and you'll know it's full. So what you want to do is puncture the can, and now it's closed, and then when you unthread it, it's when it opens. It's not leaking here, obviously. So first thing you do is purge the air out of the line here. This does not have a purge. This one does not come with a purge valve, so what we're going to have to do is very carefully thread that until the refrigerant comes out. And now we're ready. should run through there and get sucked in. And you can watch down there for the compressor to kick on and off. It's typically not going to run when it's low pressure, but every now and then it will kick on. And when it does, it will suck up eventually or put the rest. And eventually it will get enough in that it will stay on. And if you want to, you can bypass the air conditioner compressor relay and make it suck up the coolant faster if you were in a hurry. You can hear the compressor kicking on with more frequency. down here and it slowly starts building pressure.
it's enough, you can hear the compressor just stays on. So I'm about two cans in right now. Sucking this in right now. So after this can, I need to get three ounces, and I'll be done. I hope it goes without saying, but obviously every time in between changing cans, you got to shut the valves so that you don't spray yourself. So this is how you would do it. You take your can, place it on the scale. You see it's weighing at about 24 ounces right now and so you'd hook that up and it would start pulling the refrigerant in and then you just basically watch it and then when the three ounces were sucked into the car you'd cut it <laughs> and what I mean by cut it is close the valve the blue valve Done. Make sure you put your caps on, put your high side and your low side. And yes, check from Panzer platform. I finally got the cap back on there. I had to change out the Schrader valve to one that actually fits.